moments in our lives that shape us and make us into the people we are today. I believe that with my whole heart. I believe that these moments, the ones that shape us, come about during tragic, traumatic events. One of those moments happened to me during my freshman year of college. My freshman English class was pretty straightforward. That wasn't the problem. The problem was the lab hours. I didn't know it, but those lab hours were the catalyst, the singular event, the cataclysmic moment that tragically changed my life forever. I had to write a story about the yellow wallpaper. I detest the story. It creeped me out. Or maybe it was just the story that fucked me over. Who knows? Either way, I had to take it to the Writing Resource Center to get a look over for a grade. It was just like any other day. Yeah, I just, I, I really struggled with this one. I don't know. I can't figure out what you really wanted us to write about. It was packed. It was the second week of school, so everyone was still trying. I just needed my paper looked over. Sounds simple enough. Right? Oh, how I was wrong. <clears throat> I signed up with the only instructor on duty, Dr. DeVille Direct. I was number six in line to deal with the devil herself. <clears throat> I should have known better than to waste my time reading this. Tell me how you really feel. Jeez, what a bitch. What's interesting here is that you firmly believe that there are people in this world who wants to read this crap. She really said this. How, how do you even write in bold with a pen? How does she even have time to write that? Ugh. <clears throat> this author's a total waste of skin? Dude, harsh. Can she even, like, even say that? Santiago Gibbons. Have you seen a deaf omen? Like, a true to God deaf omen? I have. And it wore pumps. To the left, but no. You can't just walk away from a train wreck. Humans are morbid little creatures. We have to see the carnage and destruction for ourselves. It was like her pen was filled with the blood of her enemies, and I was her newest rival. As I sat there and watched her grade my paper, I filled with dread. I couldn't even make out any of my words under all the red. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't take it anymore. I burst into tears right then and there. No one in my life had made me feel so small and so stupid as she did that day. And she did it with a fucking smile. I tried to correct my paper, but my heart wouldn't leave my chest. My hand shook so violently that I couldn't even hold a pen. I tried to type, but I kept hitting the wrong keys. It took me three hours to rewrite a single fucking sentence. That was the day. That was the singular moment that shaped me into the student I am today. 
from that day forward, every time I try to write an essay, I will procrastinate until the very last minute and then type up some shitty ass paper. Some essays, I skip completely. And you know what else? I have never stepped foot back into that fucking pit of hell. Never. Santiago, you haven't been turning in your papers. You know my policy on late work. I hate to have to do this, but uh, I'm gonna have to fail you. My freshman year ruined my life. I have failed every single writing course after that English class. Do you have any idea how many classes require you to write essays? All of them. I started college with a 3.5 GPA. Now, now I'm at a 2.5. That's horrible. For some, for some godforsaken reason, the state requires a writing component to each class. For the most part, I couldn't get above a fucking C at best. I had papers that dropped my grade from an A to a fucking C. How is that even legal? But now, it's my senior year. There's no more running. I have to retake English 101 to graduate, not to mention the graduate writing test. I have never been so fucked in the ass as I am right now. So here I am in the library on the first day of fall semester, trying to figure out how to do this, how to pass the class. If there's one thing I hate more than writing papers and essays, it's group assignment. My professor assigned us groups day one. What's even worse, one of them is an English major and the other a psych major. If God was merciful, he would have killed me four years ago in a WRC. But no, he let me live. So, group assignment. Oh yeah, well, we only have three group papers. The uh, rest are individual. But we have to peer review each other's individual papers, but I mean, it should be simple. <laughs> yeah. No. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm gonna drop this class. What's wrong? Honestly, I suck at writing papers. I failed this class twice already. Hmm. Really? Have you taken DeVille DeRitt? She is so thorough. No. Oh my God, I took her my freshman year for remedial English. She totally changed my life. She's my mentor, honestly. You should go for, to her for help and she could totally help no. you. No. <laughs> Why? How do you tell someone that their mentor ruined your life? I can't do this. I can't. She's such a hard ass. I mean, my friend went to the writing center for help on his paper, on his psych paper, and she literally made his paper into the Red Sea. Well, yeah, that's what she does. She goes through to, uh, she goes through to correct it and tells you how to fix it. She's not doing it to be a dick or anything. Uh, she goes through the fine tooth and corrects absolutely everything. She wrote, and I quote, don't waste your reader's time, end quote, on his paper. <laughs> she hates bluff. <laughs> she did that to me my freshman year. Look, honestly, if you, go, uh, if you give her a chance, she can help you. You know what? There's no more running. This woman changed the course of my life with a single moment. It haunted me ever since. I'm a shitty writer because of her, and it's time she fucking knew it. Doors open. Hello, Dr. Diablos Lurit. Yes, how can I help you? One of your students told me that if I need help with my writing, I should come to you. Oh, really? I'm honored. But I disagree. I'm sorry? My freshman year, you were the instructor on duty at the WRC. I took my paper to you, and you marked it up so bad that I couldn't even see my words anymore. You told me that it was poorly written and proceeded to write me a new one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean and to. Since that day, I have been terrified to write anything. I used to write short stories, pages. I once wrote a 300-page Harry Potter fan fiction. I was so good. And then you. One single paper and it was all gone. I couldn't write a single solitary paper without remembering all those red marks. 
I got anxiety attacks just thinking about writing papers for class. I use procrastination as a coping mechanism just to get through a single fucking class. It took me three fucking weeks to write two fucking pages. And it's all shit. My sentence structure, my grammar, all of it. Okay. I'm sorry. Santiago. Santiago Gibbon. Santiago. I remember you. I remember your paper. You had such wonderful insight into the yellow wallpaper. You had a fresh new perspective in your analysis. Your argument was strong. You had a unique, almost artistic interpretation of the material. <laughs> it was a great paper. But you wrote so many mean things. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I get that a lot. <laughs> Once a student told me I had called them a waste of skin, when in reality, I was asking what about the skin? I, I think they were writing about a skin disorder or something. Oh. <laughs> My handwriting is chicken scratch. It gets me into so much trouble, especially in the WRC. My mind goes quicker than the hand, so to keep up, I write in shorthand. <laughs> I don't mean to write anything crazy. Oh, how embarrassing. I spent years freaking out over a single moment that was just a big misunderstanding. Sometimes teachers, even with our best intentions, still end up hurting students. That mistake was on me. Because of that, it's hindered you. I'm so sorry, Santiago. If you give me another chance, I'd like to make it up to you. I'm enrolled in freshman English. Let me take a look. There are moments in our lives that shape us and make us into the people we are today. For years, I had held on to a single event. It followed me like a shadow. I allowed it to ruin me. The thing about it, though, is that these events happen multiple times, and each time it changes you. Luckily for me, I had a chance at a new moment. Dr. Diablos de Ville de Ritz, despite her name, is an angel. A.V. Yeshua once said, the most difficult thing about the writing process is the beginning. And he is absolutely right. But luckily for me, I got the beginning down. Santiago, great job on your paper. <laughs>